I'll never forget that first day at pit. Me and my father worked a 72-hour shift and then we walked home 43 miles through snow in his bare feet. Huddled inside his clothes made out of old sacks. Eventually we trudged over hill until we could see street light twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me through icicles hanging off his nose. Nearly home now, lad, he said. We stumbled into house and stood there freezing cold and tired out, shivering and miserable in front of meagre fire. Any road, my mum says, cheer up, lads. I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. He, my father, went crackers. He reached out and gently pulled my mum towards him, bit throat. You big, fat, idle, ugly wart, he said. You great, useless, spawny-eyed, parrot-faced wazzock. He had a way with words, my father. He'd been to college, you know. You've been out playing bingo all afternoon instead of getting some proper snap ready for me and this lad, he explained to me poor little purple-faced mum. Then turning to me, he said, Arthur? He could never remember my name. Here's Afer Crown. Nip down to chip oil him. Get us a nice piece of haddock for us tea. Man cannot live by bread alone. <laughs> you were a rape tear to me, father. He said, as our working folk should have some dignity and pride and self-respect, and as how they should come home to summer warm and cheerful. And then he threw me mam on fire. We didn't have no tellies or shoes or bedclothes. We made his own fun in them days. Do you know, when I were a lad, you could get a tram down into town, buy three new suits and an overcoat, four pair of good boots, go and see George for me at Palace Theatre, get blind drunk, have some steak and chips, a bunch of bananas and three stone of monkey nuts, and still have change out in a farthing. We'd lots of things in them days they haven't got today. Rickets, diphtheria, Hitler, and by, we did look well going to school with no backside in his trousers and all his little heads painted purple because we had ringworm. They don't know the bone today.